Completing the lineup is Milza Hossein from Bangladesh in lane eight. The first six to qualify for the second round of the 400 metres, and Craig Purdy, who's about the fifth fastest in this field, so he's going to have to go somewhere near his best to make sure that he gets into the second round, and he's off to a very good start, running in the middle of the track, and watch for Simon Kipcom boy, the big Kenyan down on the inside, and you can see those big legs of his, the stride starting to lengthen as he comes to the 200 metre mark. It's Kipcom boy leading from the man inside of him, the Australian, and the New Zealander running well. He's probably in about fourth place at the moment. Kipkin Boy, 21.7 through 200. He's gone quick. Craig Purdy finishes well. Watch him. This is an event dominated by the Africans and the West Indian runners here. They're the fastest seven in the Commonwealth at the moment. But look at Craig Purdy. He's holding fourth place solidly. Kipkin Boy chopping down a gear, goes into the tape. He's safely through, as is the man in lane number seven, Trevor Graham from Jamaica. And coming home there in fourth place was Craig Purdy of New Zealand. So he's safely through to the second round, but the favourite for the gold medal, Simon Kipkamboy of Kenya, winning that. Very even as they cut out the first 100 metres, but the action should be coming from on the outer side of the track from Samson Couture and Philip Brown, the Englishman, and it's the Kenyan at the 200 metre mark, and a good run coming from the Jamaican Devon Morris in the middle of the track in lane four. Devon Morris, 22 flat through the 200. He's running the best at the moment, I'd say, but Grant Gilbert running very well coming off that final bend with just over 100 metres and a tailwind for the last section of this race. This is Samson Couture, 45.2 is his best. The big, tall, striding Kenyan coming down in lane number seven. He'll comfortably go through to the second round, as will Devon Morris. Third place is Philip Brown, and also comfortably through is the New Zealander Grant Gilbert, who just chopped it down once he realised he was comfortably inside the first six. In fact, only one missed out from that heat, but the winner that six is Fias Mohammed from Pakistan seven Kamera Interaki from Botswana and Todd Bennett the consistent Englishman running in lane number eight Bennett who finished fifth in this event in 1982 in Brisbane now uh, Darren Dale the New Zealander former New Zealand junior record holder has a best time of 46.98 the first six to qualify there's only seven in the field so only one will get left behind but there's some very fast men in this field Douglas and two Burnett and three and number five one three there Howard Burnett from Jamaica the Jamaicans very strong in this event as they go through the 200 metre mark and it looks as if it could well be in the middle of the track of Burnett and Elvin Daniel. Burnett was very fast through the 200, 22-4. He was the quickest, ran quick up that back straight, got his position. Now he can control the race. Howard Burnett in control of this race and a good finish coming here from Todd Bennett. He's going to make sure that he's comfortably through to the next round. And inside of him, Kamera Inekeri from Botswana coming home in third place. All right, Burnett of Jamaica. 4.38 seconds, the time that he ran in the semi-final in Seoul. In his own words, he blew it in 1986. He went too slow in the first half of the race, in the final, and Roger Black from England stole the medal, stole the gold medal. I'm sure that won't happen this year. And there appeared to be a break, yes, they've recalled them again, and again it was out near the outside somewhere. certainly wasn't Clark that broke but we'll find out exactly who the offender was he uh, ran a brilliant race in Seoul as he did in uh, Los Angeles to finish fourth in those last two Olympic finals I'm sure there are still many many more good races in front of Darren Clark but he would like to get this gold medal this monkey off his back if you like he really shouldn't be, uh, it really shouldn't be looked at in that light because his career has been an outstanding one. But I'm, I'm sure, Peter, that uh, athletes would like to just have a, that gold medal, a gold medal, if there's not to be more, uh, to cap their career. One's a nice start. And the way Darren's been moving in training, he ran a, a very, very cool 20.8 the other day in, in, in a 200 metres time trial. So let's go very quickly through the field again for heat five of the men's 400 metres. Clark of Australia in one, Skerritt of Canada in two. Adam from the Seychelles is in three. Maricon from Gambia is in four. Johnson from Ghana is in five. Sandy from Sierra Leone in six. Strawn from Barbados in seven. And Matthews from Trinidad is in lane eight. First six in each heat. Go straight through to the next round. And this time they get them away cleanly. And Clark has set out very quickly after Skerritt. I guess he figures that if he stays with Skerritt, he's going to be well and truly safe going through to the next round. 
and uh, those two in fact Clark has gone up alongside Skerritt on the inside as you can see and almost three races developing here as those two uh, start to make up the stagger around the outside also running well in there is Strawn way out in lane seven he's the athlete from Barbados he's been passed on the inside by Sandy from Sierra Leone it'll be interesting to see if he can uh, sustain that and uh, inside that is Johnson from Guyana also but it's Clark who leads them into the straight he's run this race very very comfortably indeed and then Strawn from Barbados also coming through well but it's a pretty comfortable run this by Darren Clark he looks the part here this afternoon as he comes down he ambles down to the line and he goes through to win the fifth heat of the men's 400 meters very comfortably indeed a time of 46.64 seconds and that's uh, a little bit quicker than it actually looked Peter that was a very very good run from Darren first up he uh, he had the field well covered down the back straight running very very easily very relaxed you can see just by the facial expression there that he's he's doing it very very easily he's got a lot left and uh, I, I think he can dip down right into the very very low 44s at least by the time the final comes around there's those two races again with the inside runners having a really good look the outside runners can't afford to have a look around because they have to run scared because the whole field could come through on them but Clark doing a very very nice job yes a good strong performance by Clark as he goes down to the line and now he's talking with Ken Sutcliffe well, Darren, you, were smooth. you had them in your sights all the way very controlled you look good I felt pretty good it's obviously the first race is hard because of the nerves but I, I was pretty surprised. I thought better than I thought I would. You, uh, the full start didn't affect you at all, Darren? Uh, I would have liked to have got it on the way. <laughs> but you can't help those things. Now, what do you do to settle down between now and the, ne and the next you know, concentrated effort later on? Just relax. So a similar effort will be needed for the next race. What about the confidence factor? Sky high? Um, I'm confident doing well. I'm not overconfident or anything because there's some very talented people in the field. But I'm going to go 100% in the final. and. I hope that's good enough. The Not expectations happy. are there though, aren't they? Oh, they're always there. Here, some really fast men in this field. Burnett, the Jamaican in lane number four, and the Kenyan Samson Couture in five, and the Australian Robert Stone, also a very good 200 metre runner. Well, Robert Stone's gone out very quickly. Has he got the strength to be able to hang on to it? Great run coming from the Kenyan, Couture. It's uh, Samson Couture at the moment, who has a best time of 45.20. On the inside of him is Burnett and the Australian Robert Stone. Those three look comfortable as Couture straightens up for the run home. Sandy down on the inside and Samson Couture comfortably through to the semi-finals. Wins this first heat of the second round. Stone is in second place. Burnett third and fourth place going to Felix Sandy who had that shaky start. But he steadied himself and nailed down the fourth spot from this the first heat of the second round. But that's the man that... Also in this field is Adem from the Seychelles in lane number one. Matthews from Trinidad in two. Interreki from Botswana in three. McDonald from England in five. McLean from Canada in six. Douglas from Bermuda in seven. Hussein from Bangladesh in eight. And Darren Dale in lane nine. The first four go through to the semi-finals along with the two fastest losers from these four second round heats. Darren Clark running in lane number four. But outside of him, Troy Douglas of Bermuda are off to a very good start. And the New Zealander on the outside, Darren Dale, finding it hard to stay with this pace. And this is Wayne McDonald, and alongside of him in the blue there is Troy Douglas of Bermuda. It's a very even field at the 200 metre mark. And Darren Dale has run very hard on the outside lane, no one to pace off. He may die in the straight now. But it's Darren Clark coming round on the inside down there in lane number four. And it's Darren Clark alongside of him in lane number five is Wayne McDonald, the 19-year-old Englishman, making his debut for England today. And Darren Dale, look at that coming down the outside, but it's a bit too late. It's the other Darren that wins it, Darren Clark of Australia. Did it easily in 46.68, and he was virtually jogging over the last 10 metres. He could well go a good second and a half, maybe even two seconds faster than that on that sort of form. And he won that heat comfortably. But now we're getting towards the business end of the men's 400 metres. And Clark got away comfortably. Dale leads them out in lane nine from New Zealand. And Douglas is running through very quickly out in lane seven. McDonald is going with him and Clark is going with McDonald. And then we come back to Interecki and already uh, Clark has increased his lead over Interecki. So Clark now moving up on the inside through his through lane four and he's moving up on McDonald. McDonald has gone past Douglas. Clark is about to go past Douglas, so there's no threat from him. It's going to be McDonald and Clark that will settle down to fight it out in the straight. 
It's uh, the first four and the next two fastest from each of these heats that will go through to the final. And there's no doubt that Darren Clark's going to go through to the final. He and Wayne McDonald almost exchanging comments, I would say. O'Brien from Canada in lanes nine and seven. But it's Brown who's running very fast in the early stages in lane one. Phil Brown from England, something of a relay expert. He's accumulated a fine swag of medals in relays, but Trevor Graham of Jamaica has gone through very quickly. He's in fact uh, caught and passed Mark Garner, and it's going to be Graham who sets a fairly hot pace. Brown running a very controlled race in lane one, and he appears to have the field pretty well covered. And now the race is on in earnest, and it's going to be a very interesting finish as... Uh, as Garner starts to throw out the challenge again. Mwanzia from Kenya coming through on the inside. Trevor Graham from Jamaica just leads. Now Mwanzia takes over. And Mwanzia wins it. Big run from the Kiwi out wide. That was... And lane number one is strong from Australia. Grant Gilbert, the New Zealander, is in two. Garner in three. Couture from Kenya in four. Bennett in five. Clark, the Australian, in six. Kipcom Boy in seven. Morris in eight. And Wanzia, the Kenyan, in lane number eight. And it's Darren Clark, the first to show out. Grant Gilbert running well down on the inside. The three Australians and the three Kenyans as they come to the 200 metre mark. The action should be on the outer lanes of the track. And the Kenyans starting to make their move now. Kipcom Boy takes off with just under 200 metres of the race to go. But tracking him every stride is Darren Clark. This is going to be a super lineup as they come off the bend here. Who will run the best bend? Will it be Clark or will it be Kipkin Boy? As they line up for the run home, it's Darren Clark. Will he get his gold medal at last? Kipkin Boy flying out the Australian, but he's got the measure of the Kenyans. It's Darren Clark gold. Kenya get the silver and the bronze. But Darren Clark, for so long he's been trying for this gold medal. Second in 1986, fourth at the Olympic Games. The 24-year-old has shrugged off the problems of injuries and at last he's got himself a gold medal a time of 44.60 world-class time for the 24 year old sydney cider and a gold medal as well well so often in the past darren clark has been accused of a man that can handle the big time he went hard around the first bend and uh, Kipkin Boy tried to put it on him around the top end and they came into the straight it was darren clark and now it came down to strength and conditioning and I should add form and look at the form of Darren Clark he keeps himself together nicely and Kipkin Boy on the outside gets a little ragged he's tired he's exhausted and look at the other Kenyan Samson Kitu on the inside he's tired also a beautiful victory for K Darren Clark now you can call him a winner he's a gold medalist and a Commonwealth Games record holder Second They're away cleanly. Mwanzia from Kenya leads them out in lane nine. And Devin Morris is going very quickly also. So too is Bennett. And De Clark is moving very comfortably off that first bend. He ran a beautiful bend. And he's got Kip Kimboy covered as they go down the back. Now Kip Kimboy starts to apply some pressure. Bennett is back there. So too is Kitur of Kenya who's running very well. Garner's going well also. So too is Stone in lane one. The three Australians are quitting themselves well. It's Clark now who starts to move up alongside the uh, Kenyan Kip Kimboy. Clark will lead them into the straight. Kip Kimboy is with them. Kitur is coming through. Darren Clark has got this field under control. I suspect Kip Kimboy is coming at him, but he can't sustain it. Darren Clark came to Auckland on business, and that business is completed. Darren Clark wins the 400 metres. A magnificent run in a time of 44.6 seconds. That's a new games record. A magnificent run by Darren Clark, and the monkey is off his back.